Welcome back to Dave Does Outdoors with his uh, better half sidekick Audrey. Audrey, the what is she? She's a cross um, Jack Russell and um, Poodle. So she's a what is she? Jack a Doodle. So we're out, we're on a bit of an adventure again this morning. We're checking out some local woods that I've never been into. We're on an old road that connects um, Cooper to a place called Kennyway. So these are old ancient sort of drovers roads and probably at one point quite quite busy thoroughfares that would sort of zigzag across Fife and um, cut into little towns and, um, and you know sort of trade routes, you know just general travel. Um, there was quite a lot going on in Fife with St Andrews and Falkland and um, you know, there was a lot of kind of um, reason to be here, travelling up to Dundee, down to Edinburgh, so it was quite a quite a sort of area that people would travel through. So this is a really old um, little track that used to probably be described as a kind of road um, and there's some woods up the back that I've never been to so we're just on a wee Covid friendly extended dog walk um, out not for very long um, adhering to guidance obviously hoping everyone's taking care um, but yeah we're going to have time for a wee spot to eat um, and maybe throw the hammock up so I've got a wee, a wee bag load but it's nice to get some weight on my back um, particularly once we start getting a wee bit more um, hiking in the summer and stuff so it's good to keep fit, good to keep outdoors good to get a bit of weight in your back um, she loves it as always so thanks for joining me I'm going to crack on up the hill and uh, I'll get you back we're going to get into some woods that I've never been in so that's always really exciting to see if there's any old old trees there's quite a lot of beech trees about here um, so yeah try and find a little spot to to catch a little bit of space and chill time so Thanks again for tuning in guys, appreciate all the support at home. Okay, um, we've walked for a wee while and we've discovered a wee, it looks like there's been some sort of quarrying going on again on this hillside. You can see some remnants of stone. So a couple of trees here, I'm going to sling my hammock going to get cooking on my wood stove, plenty of wood for a wee small fire, so uh, all good, out for an hour or so, a couple of wee, she's, I've brought her, I'm describing this as a day bed, um, just so if we're out and we're settling she can climb into this wee sleeping bag, eh? What do you say to that? So she's having fun, a good bit of exercise for her. So I'm going to chop a few bits of wood, not much, it's a small little thing, it's enough to cook. Having a similar um, meal to my last week cook out, um, some pork, got made a sort of sweet sticky dressing and I've got some rice. So it's about lunchtime, so I'm going to crack on with that, get my hammock up, get you back once things are moving on a little bit. So, aye, what a nice day though, it's cold. The snow's thawing, it's not even freezing, the wind, there's a cool wind, 
fairly sheltered in this little spot. Um, out the way of everyone, haven't seen anyone really for the last kind of couple of hours, which has been nice. Nice bit of space. Medicine getting out into the fresh air with your buddy. Eh? She's getting her hair cut next week, so you won't see her all this kind of longness. It's fine, it keeps her a bit warmer, but I um, had a bit of a poop, a bit of a pooper accident last night, um, which wasn't new which wasn't you brought on when she gets back as well she's all properly dirty so anyway I'm gonna crack on get myself sorted I'm just going to, because we're on the fire, little twig, wood stove, again, because this, these saws are, I'm just going to make little, kind of, chunky pellet sizes of that pine, and I'm using my, it cuts on the, the teeth are designed to, and you get ones with a better. This was the kind of entry level, cheaper one. But I think there's a company called Silky Boy that, well, loads of different companies. To be honest with you, this isn't, this has been okay for my first. You know, it doesn't take too much. I'll try and run through. A little bit of my gear as I go. So we've got the DD frontline hammock set up between two trees, obviously. Um, standard strapping that comes with it. Um, it's got a mosquito net, which is the underside of the, the hammock, and I've just flipped it. You'll see the mosquito net getting used in the summer. This, this is a bit gimmicky. This is the, the Neo Air. Um, comes with this little dinky pump which takes a couple of really small AAA batteries um, a bit gimmicky but to blow it up it takes about 15 big puffs and when you're an old man like me um, every puff's quite precious so um, it helps you get, you get a reasonable inflation and you can finish it off using your your puff um, really good air bed Again, you need someone, if you're out in the winter, you need someone that's got a, a decent R rating that's going to keep you warm because most of your body heat's lost through the ground. Um, so, I've done a review of my wood burner. I've got my little um, knife, my Eldris hanging there. Check out some of my other videos. Um, we'll, we'll kinda, we're kind of reviewing the hammock as we go. Really easy to set up. Um, like everything though, it's trial and error and a wee bit of experimentation. So this, this just switches off by closing the, it automatically closes. Perfect, I'm going to get the fire in a minute or two. It doesn't take long to set that up couple of minutes um, that just the sleeve just velcro shuts um, so like everything the more you use it the, the easier it becomes Soft once we've got a coffee on it. Nice. It's nice. 
always make sure there's nothing kind of overhanging his wee branch there that I didn't check. A couple of wee branches actually. Um, but I'm not there, it's, it's, a, it's a small little lunge stop, so. Right, I'm going to get the fire on. She's got her jumper on. Yeah, it's nice and quiet little spot up here. A little bit of road, road, road what about a mile down the hill. Sometimes in, in sound travels, but. Again, I'm, I've got my little, little bit of paraffin. Uh, I think I'll close that. This lighter's on the blink. It's not very windy today, which is great. Okay, let's put my in that. I've got a tiny little bit of card. I just assist it a wee bit at the bottom. Nice. We're going to have the same as we had last little trip out, um, pork belly with a sort of sweet um, a sweet sort of barbecue, it's got soy sauce, it's got um, chilli sauce some honey this time. And I've just made it up in a pre, pour it all over in the frying pan. Um, keep it simple. Now I need to watch my fingers with this bad boy because I have managed to cut myself on this one. Um, which again is it's all about the learning eh? Mexican rice, and I've actually remembered my my pot, so we'll need to do it in stages because the fires. That's what Audrey's on: ham, cheese, and a bit of our dried food. for the munching but the new microphone tends to pick everything up so okay that water's boiling 
didn't take long. Um, she had actually broken the stock before I got to open, but let's just see what it can do. So it should break up in the pan. Okay, so we've got, I'll just put the, the pork right into the rice We've got a spicy rice pork Mm. I want um I want certain munch because I know it sounds pretty um off putting but the fire's kicking out heat. We've got the place to ourselves. I'm gonna get a coffee on after this. There's another bit of exploring I want to do down that way. Down toward the, the river. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to, in the summer, hang my hammock by the river somewhere. So I'm, when I'm out, I'm always kind of looking for potential. Um, little stealth spots that are quite local in case we continue with lockdown and stuff. Mm. That's yours. Lots of pork. Yeah, that's the coffee. Nice. the fire died down a little bit as you can see it just burns itself away very little ash no real mark I mean the advantage is you don't end up with a big sort of fire pit with stones and lots of mess so they are good for that Okay, Audrey. So, that's us. We've had our lunch. Audrey, don't. She's a real licker, a little licky dog. Aren't you? A couple of buzzards flying about. Which is nice up here in the woods. So, yeah. We're going to tidy up. Audrey, don't. Audrey. Stop it. Um. We're going to tidy up letting the fire die down. Enjoyed our lunch again. She's done well. She's had tons to eat, so she'll be nice and energised. We're going to take a wander, so I might get a bit more footage. We're not quite done. Um, but yeah, my my videos are a bit kind of um, get yourself some popcorn, pour yourself a wee cup of juice or tea or whatever your, your tipple is. Um, they're never massively short, so... If you're into that sort of thing, great. If you're not, soz. Um, but yeah, another little one for me. I'm going to do this every weekend, so sorry about the... It's quite similar kind of content, but for me, I'm getting used to putting the hammock up. Um, enjoying my little wood burner. My new knife. Um, what else? The camera, the tripod. So just, yeah, just keep practicing what I'm doing. Trying to perfect my my skills, which is great, good for me, and enjoying obviously being outdoors and fresh air for me. It's pure medicine. So, I thanks again for tuning in for joining me. Hopefully, you enjoyed today.
me and this little guy. She'll be getting her hair cut next weekend, won't you? Um, so she'll start feeling the cold a little bit more. But we're ramping through January and so we're doing well. Doing good. Really enjoying getting the hammock up, even if it was just for 20 minutes. It's good practice. I think a lot of kind of getting outdoors and doing this kind of stuff's about kind of confidence as well. And the more you do it, the more confident you feel, the more you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm encouraging folk to be getting out, see what's on your doorstep. I'm not using my car for any of these little trips just now. It's all kind of local. Um, finding new little nooks and crannies to explore and spend time. Audrey, don't. Audrey, don't. She would lick you to death if she got the chance. What is it? What is it? Honestly, Audrey. Don't. Ah, ah, ah. Right guys, that's us all packed up, it just takes a second, the wee stove just tips, virtually no ash, a couple of bits of twig but no one's up here at all, I've not seen any human life at all, it's been nice, um, so hammock again quickly comes down, air mat down, uh, I didn't bother showing you that because it's boring, I'm not going to sign off yet, we're going to, I'm not sure which way we're going to go down off this hillside um, so I'll sign off later on but that was a really successful lunch she's sorted and um, we've got a couple of miles back back home so um, I'll definitely tune in we'll get we'll get another little bit of footage um, as we go down the down the path so hope you enjoyed the uh, lunch where Dave does outdoors and and his little sidekick well, I don't know if you're getting her, how, how cute this little one is. She's all cosy, like, I can feel her. She gets all tremulous, that's just the kind of, the terrier in her, so. But yeah, a good little spot. I'm not sure about an overnighter later on, once we're moving about. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off about there. Um, yeah, we've... We're sort of near the river, we're on a different wood, so I thought I'd just skip in here, but it's getting a bit dark, we're running out of daylight a wee bit. Um, but it's fine, we've not really passed anyone today, which has been great. Audrey's had a good time, I've had some lunch. Um, still trying to explore some new bits and pieces that we've not been on, this is quite near the river. Um, never been down this path before, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm going to sign out, sign off. Hope you've enjoyed today's little one. Um, we'll keep a bit of content coming out, um, mainly just lunchtime, little extended dog walks really just now, whilst we're in lockdown, but I hope everyone's taking care, get out, get some fresh air if you can, um, soul food, complete medicine, it's keeping me going like just now, so thanks for joining me, and uh, till the next time, take care. No.